In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we drop anchor at Black Point Settlement on Great Kiwana Key before setting out to explore the area in our dinghy, Imp. Next door is beautiful Guana Key South, with a stunning beach, gorgeous coral, and fascinating limestone, all overseen by enigmatic Bahamian rock iguanas. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. Hi, Dustin! Hi! <laughs> so I love the fact that I get to talk to you because you are the one. I'm, I'm doing FaceTime with you right now yeah, and yeah. we're in motion and it's all because you bought me the Starlink for Christmas. Yeah. Thank you, Dustin! You're welcome. <laughs> Where are you going now? I'm, we're going to Black Point right now. We've left, we just Black left Point. San... How far is that from your last location? What, how many it's about 10 you? miles. It's about 10 miles. So how fast are we going, Dave? Six and a half. Well, you're not sailing there. You are, you're, you're motor sailing, but uh, you can be there in about an hour. Yep. It's only, yeah. it's only 10 miles, but we want to leave Staniel Key and go to Black Point because we've got some things that we want to do like uh, laundry and and yeah, hang out yeah. at Black Point for a little bit. Hey, laundry mom. is a thing. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Love you, too. So what are you doing now, Captain Dave? Trying to stay out of your shot, Lisa. <laughs> well, you happen to be in it, so let's go see if the windlass is uh, on or not. So I come in here and I take a look and the windlass is not on, so I've got to put it on. I also turn the water off I have the music on, but it's on zero. And I make sure that everything's good to go. And then I go out here. I move my beanbag chair. I come to the front. I drop this. And then this. Like so. And then. I undo my handiwork here. With one hand. You know how hard this is to do with one hand, guys? Come on. Well, I always do that whenever we go anywhere or just in case. And then, I open this up, like so. And I open this up, like so. And you can see the bridle just swinging because I dropped her down. And then what I would do is actually open this up and that's where the chain locker is. And there's Dave, looking for a spot to anchor. And there goes, bye mailboat! And here's Black Point. Coming into Black Point. There is no wind today. That's why that the water is so flipping clear. But the, the negative of not having any wind is of course you can't sail just sticks up in the air. But you can see everything in the bottom of the ocean. There. That's my view. I'm just hanging out. Hanging out in front of my boat. And there's my paddleboard way back there. Oh. There you are, okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs>
Perfect. <laughs> so you come out and you see this coming at your boat. <laughs> That's here at Black Point. Apparently we seem to be a little bit in the way. I didn't think we were, but um, we are. Do you think I could slack a sticker on there or no? well here. I'm not saying that uh, it's shallow here in the Bahamas, but that boat is stirring up the bottom. They're so close to the bottom that they've got, they've got sand stirred up from the bottom. So where are we going today, Captain Dave? We're going around the corner. Okay. There's some islands with some lizards. Lizards? Some iguana, uh, <laughs> some Bahamas iguanas. Bahama iguanas, which are really big. They're big, they're... Um, Is there an anchorage? They're an endangered species. And we might go out and see if we can dive outside the cut. Although I haven't checked to see if there's any reefs out there, but let's yeah. go look. We're filming this excursion I asked Steve to go slow because my hat I want to wear my hat because I don't want to get sunburned I don't want to tell you I was only doing about 10 knots we can he do don't 20. listen well we can do 23 10 is slow look at this water bathtub Or pool. Yeah, look at that. Stuck you underwater. <laughs> So look what we found. What are they, Dave? A whole school of them. And they're biggins. Are we going out to are we going out to sea? Predict wind said that the um, it was calm seas. So let's go see how right they are. Look at this. Look how deep that is. How deep would you say that is? It's going to be 30, 40 feet. Yep. Can people come in this cut, do you know? I don't know. That'd be interesting to find out. I know we never have. So, now we're out on the ocean side. Out on the sound. We're out on the sound. And it's deep out here. 
This ain't no 15 feet foot water. This is 30, 40 feet. Where are you heading to? I don't know if we can get back in over there or not. I remember that being really shallow. Oh yeah, there's a cut over there. Isn't it around that corner? Yeah. Right over here, right this corner. Let's go check it out. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> hey babe. It's exciting. There's that word again. What do you think? It's all looking good. It looks like that goes right across the shallow. Do you think so? Yeah. Look at this though. Thin oh. and rocky. I think we're gonna give it a go. Very carefully. We not done this before. What'd you do just now, Dave? I took the lock off the engine so I can tip it up if we get too shallow. Oh shit, okay. There's a rock right there. This is too shallow. And then how do you get past this? Go over this way? Please? Yeah. No you want to turn around? That. Yeah, we're getting out. Okay. Back it up. So we're backing up because it's too shallow. It's cool though. It is very cool. I mean we can go to the beach and then come back up that later, but yeah, we can it's also just, go to the beach from the other side. Yeah, we're gonna go around back around so that we don't get caught up on these rocks with our rubber boat. Good idea, babe. That was worth a shot. It could have made it. Well, on this side, this side. Could have, but should be. What is that? Hello? Giant Portuguese man of war? Oh, God. No, just a balloon. It's a balloon. Do you want me to grab it? Okay. It, ah, that, fuck. There we go. Plastic out of the water. If we really wanted to, we could get in there, but if you're running the risk of damaging the boat, damaging your prop, you still gotta run back out. So, it's safer to go the other way. Because it's all coral. Carefully, you don't run out of uh, water. Yeah, if we were to um, go right up on here and drop, drop, we. And even in there, look in there. Yeah, go ahead. It's pretty cool. Very pretty. Wow. A whole bunch of little ones through here. Is that swimming? That's swimming. What That's is? a shark right there. It is too. Yeah. It's a shark right there. Good eyeball. Thank you tried to hide among the coral heads. <laughs> we see you. We see you. So yeah, so right there, there, yeah. there was the cut that we tried to come through. But it was just a little bit too dangerous for our dinghy. We didn't want to pop the dinghy trying to get it through. Because that, my friends, would be stupid. 
Go over here. Let's go over there. It says private sign, do not read. No reading. That's a cave. Yep. Right there. You know who lives in that cave? The elusive Bahamian saltwater crocodile. He really needs a cup of shut the f up. <laughs> Okay, lift her up. Yes, to lift it up. Hi, iguana. There's two of them. Three. Three of them, four of them. You remember us? You remember we don't feed you, right? Look at this little one. Coming over like we owe his money. I'm only here to take your picture. I'm not here to feed you, okay? Hi. Hi, guy. Yeah, but your fingers still look good, Dave. Oh, hey, 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 hey. How would this look as a movie set? Rocks weeping. Oh no, it's not. It's a whole another cave. There's the cut we just tried to come in. You can see it's a lot of current and really, really shallow. That's a bad combination. So we probably could have got over here to the beach, but there's a lot of rock and coral in the way. And then you still got to get back out. And the other option would be to try to get over this sandbar, but there's tons of rock in there. See, you can't really take risks in any major way here because there's no repair facilities there's no rescue facilities there's no place to fix anything and you're on your own <laughs> yeah so if you do something stupid like come you through pay. there all the way and then you pop your dinghy you're screwed so i don't think i would have wanted to come over that ledge i am going to go up there and take a up there and take a peek over top and i'm wearing my sand shoes Wow, it's hot up here. <gasps> wow. That is incredible. <laughs> 